YouTube, it is your favorite game here, Above Average Cody, here today to talk all about this bad boy right here, Active Camo, here in Halo Infinite. Guys, I'm going to tell you the basics of Active Camo for those that don't already know uh, basically what it does and how to use it in the game. And then I'm going to show you guys how I like to acquire it, what you should be doing once you pick it up, and realistically, just the best ways to not just navigate getting the Active Camo, but also the best ways to use it, the best things to pair it with, and realistically, who on your team should be having the active camo. And then finally, guys, to wrap everything up, I actually have one pretty good clip of me grabbing the active and pairing it with a couple other items, so we're gonna analyze that at the end of this video. So first off, guys, active camo. Obviously, many of you probably already know, pick it up. If you already have something in your inventory, you have to hold X to pick it up. Do not be that guy sliding over the pad thinking they picked it up, when in reality, uh, you didn't because you have a grapple in your inventory. So you're going to drop, hold X, pick it up, and then obviously right bumper, whatever your activate button is to activate it, you instantly become invisible. Now, you're not completely invisible. You see that shimmer of my BR? That is what the enemies see. Depending on their frame rate, their graphic settings, uh, they can generally see you pretty easily, guys. But um, basically, you're invisible unless you sprint. Sprinting will change your invisibility, but you can jump and your footsteps are quieter, so you can still navigate the map pretty good, take some tricky routes, uh, do things like that. Also, guys, if you take any amount of damage, you are not invisible until it comes back for a second. Then after 30 seconds, you are obviously no longer invisible. That is the basics of active camo. So just remember that, guys. If you take any damage, if you start sprinting, uh, the invisibility is not active, or the camo is not active, no pun intended. And then um, you have to stop doing whatever you're doing that canceled it so that it has time to reactivate. And obviously, you will get the sound cue if um it's activating or deactivating so that's the basics of active camo guys doesn't give you any added health it doesn't give you added and any added benefit it just literally makes you uh mostly invisible probably 98 percent invisible now the best ways i'd say to maneuver once you are invisible guys is try to take routes where the enemy is not looking if the enemy's down here long haul and you are walking dead center down the lane they are going to see that little shimmer that I told you about, that little shimmer of the BR. They are going to see you very, very easily, guys. So try to jump, try to take weird routes. Again, the enemy's right here. And just try to move such that you're not moving right in their reticle. Because chances are they are staring at the center of their screen at the reticle, guys. You want to jump and move such that you're not going to be a very obvious shimmering target in front of them. Next quick tip, guys, while you're moving around with active camo try to stay away from teammates the reason is grenades are very important in halo infinite chances are the enemy's throwing them so if they throw a grenade at your teammate which they see and want uh it will then then display you because you took damage from the grenade and then you are not going to be hidden at all because even though you do get the active backup after a second of not taking damage guys um, the enemy will then see you, hopefully, depending on the ranked team, um, they're going to call you out, and then all of a sudden, everybody's looking in your That's direction, and all of a sudden, the shimmering man isn't all that hard to see because, well, you know, everybody knows exactly where you are, roughly. Now, guys, I want to talk about how to grab this active camo. We're here on recharge. I'll show you guys the other maps briefly towards the end of the video, but this is the most common place and really the best place to get stacked, if you will, with active camo. Now, personally, I'm a flyer at camo. I love flying for it, uh, just full sending and trying to grab it because honestly, most of the time I notice diamond and even the lower onyx lobbies, people really don't prioritize camo too much, especially on here on recharge. So what I personally recommend in a perfect setup, guys, send two for active and then send two people to kind of watch over it. You really want to get the kills before you secure the active. That way you can kind of either carefully activate it and learn and decide where you want to go with it. Or you can pocket it, which we're going to talk about in a second here, guys. So from this spawn, guys, you jump, you slide down the stairs, you get the speed boost, you grab it, and then generally I run right up here and pop it, and you're gone. You're completely gone. You hopefully get them coming out of the spawn and you can pretty much get the drop on them. Because, again, you want to move where they're not ready for you. They're not going to be ready for you to jump up there and already be in the spawn. But, of course, it depends on the game mode. It depends on what your team wants to do. It depends on what objective you're pushing. So this isn't a clear-cut thing for everything, guys, but nothing I tell you guys ever is because you guys tell me in the comments, but what if this happens? This doesn't work. That's just what it is, guys. But basically, you want to do that. From this side, guys, personally, you're going to spawn here back elevator. I like to slide down the elevator. 
I run down the stairs just enough so I can do my long slide here. I long slide into it. I grab it, but I will not push through. There's always somebody here. There's somebody that drops a pit, so I'll grab it. I'll usually try to get back here, and then I'll go up uh, through Mangler Pit, and I'll pop it that way. Now, guys, the reason we are on recharge here, we're going to jump right into the next tip here. The perfect camo grab, and let's jump into that clip I have, actually, and I'll show you guys kind of through that way. But I'll briefly tell you now, you want active camo, you want energy sword, and if you can possibly, grab the grapple hook. The grapple hook will come in handy after your active camo wears off and you can get some serious kills. Now, obviously, the reason you want to do this, guys, grab the active. If you can, pocket it. We're going to go over that in the clip here, what I didn't do, because obviously, different circumstances. You want to grab sword. So grab your energy sword. All right, you're heading up. Pop that active before people see you. You don't want them to know what's going on. And guys, this is probably the sickest combo in Halo Infinite, is the energy sword uh, with the active camo, and I'll let the clip do the talking for that one. Alrighty guys, here in this clip you can see we're spawning on the sea hillside of Recharge, the active camo's up, kinda gonna walk you guys through where I went right and where I went wrong. As you can see, first off, completely missed the drop to the next set of stairs, I, I don't know what was going on, so I'm like, this is already chalked. But as you'll see, I do end up grabbing the active camo. Literally nobody chowed me at all, guys. You can see I instantly turn, think about maybe going for sword, think about maybe making a play up there. The first mistake I made was not just pocketing the active camo because if you have no opposition, nobody shooting at you, there's no reason to pop it. If you just pop it and you start wandering to either sword, wandering to find enemies... You're really just wasting some of the 30 seconds on the active. So that's the first issue I made, guys. I even looked and saw there was nobody, but it's just like instinct. You know, sometimes you're like in the heat of the moment or whatever. Just popped it. So that was a mistake I made. But secure the active, I pop it, and then I was going to jump up there. But you can see I made the quick decision to go for sword. That could have also been part of the reason why I popped it right away. But all right, so we're off to the races. We've got active. I'm not sprinting. The reason I am not sprinting, guys, is because I'm afraid that since they did not play for active, they went right for oddball. And if they're obviously on the oddball spawn, they have a clear sight right down into blue pipes. So that's why I'm walking. But they're not going to see the shimmer from that distance, most likely. I get the sword relatively uncontested. Do not screw up this jump. I've been there. Be very careful. I jump up, and now it's time to get across. I know there's enemies all around the map, so I'm kind of, like, being careful. I completely lose that guy, and now I'm like, okay, I am wasting the active. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, so frustrating taking a route and finding nobody and nobody to kill, but that's fine. I regain, and now I know my next target, as mentioned, is the grapple because I know I am running out of time on this active. I'm not going to get a lot of kills with it. So I'm going to go get the grapple so when it runs out, I can still make a massive play with the sword grapple combo. So I'm going to make my jump up. I'm going to grab the grapple, jump up to pipes. Again, nobody's seen me. I don't think anybody was out in the open to get a line of sight on me, but I'm taking weird routes, so even if somebody was around, they're not going to see a shimmering man come in through uh, opposite side of shock to pipes. So I come in, guys. Calm and collected. There we go. As you can see, active has run out as I went to get that kill. All right, 30 seconds is up. It's done so. And uh, as you can see, the grapple is about to come in handy, guys. So I'll let you see the whole sequence here. Uh, we completely retake pipes. We take the oddball to start the match, and it's a pretty good play overall. So we'll let this play out, and I'll show you guys the magic. There's the one. No more active. We get the grapple off. I think I grappled this guy, but as you can see, I really didn't need to. Triple kill. Ball secured. We get some ball time. I think I might even sneak out here and get another freebie. There you go. Grapple helping out. Bingo, bango. That dude smokes me. I'm out of sword. But you guys get the point. That's almost perfect uh, camo to a uh, sword to a uh, grapple. Uh, I should have pocketed the camo a little longer. I should have been a little smarter with my route, guys. But that's what it's going to look like uh, here on uh, Recharge with the active camo. Alrighty, guys. Now, briefly, who should have the active camo? In my opinion, anybody can have active camo as long as they know the basics and how not to get spotted and the tips I gave you guys at the beginning of this video. So if you feel confident, you know what to do, uh, grab it. I prefer to have a bigger brain player grab it because, again, in a perfect situation where you're not being shot or anything, you have to make decisions on whether you pocket it, whether you burn it and take the death. Sometimes there could be a situation where if you get caught trying to grab a sword, maybe you just take it all off the map so the enemy doesn't get it. Because keep in mind, 
it's not just a product that you very much want in your team's hands, guys. It is something you very much want to keep out of the enemy team's hands. You do not want them to have that sword active combo. So sometimes you might just send it in the pit. And guys, don't be that guy. If you grab sword and you see active camo looking at you, drop sword. I promise you it is so much better in the active camo player's hands so because it is just a sick combination because they do not even see you coming as you guys saw in that raw uh, clip. I believe I got the triple kill there. Very crazy. Very good combo. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for active. I mean, the grapple just kind of comes in handy overall with the sword because obviously you can close the gap and then nail them with the sword like that. But let's jump into a couple of the other maps with active camo, guys. I'll give you the rundown. I'll give you the gist, some things I like to do on the other maps. Alrighty, guys, very briefly, I really don't want to make this like a 20-minute video here. But here we are on Aquarius, another very big acti active camo map. I'm going to show you guys one very, very good route I like to take to active camo. And then I'm going to give you guys some tips on how you should probably be maneuvering the map such that you don't get spotted and get killed very easily. So obviously, you spawn back base here. We're here in yellow base. Uh, I like to run out, guys, move to the right here, drop off as quickly as possible. And I like to jump right up here. If you can get on this, you can generally fast slide off it, grab active, and then the rest is going to come down to wherever the enemies are. And obviously, again, guys, don't forget, if you have something in your inventory already, I don't know, maybe you grab thrusters off, off spawn, drop it. You have to hold X, so don't do what I just did and just slide over. I was talking, so I made the mistake. But um, if you got enemies here, guys, I recommend just dropping down back. And then again, don't be afraid to drop their direction. Because once that camo fully pops, guys, you're good. You're good to go. So if you see enemies all over here, guys, drop off. Go to their side and then just get away and just try to i like to hug walls personally hug walls use the directions do a figure eight or an s through here if you have to again try to stay away from teammates do some flanks and use all of these jump areas guys again people are going to be staring at their reticle they're going to be centered they're not going to see you jumping down from up top down this way you know get on get out of their like easy line of sight and just try to be tricky with it, guys. And don't be afraid to try to hit some power slides, you know, get through faster. And also, if you're on the opposite side of the map as the enemy, don't be afraid to sprint a little bit, guys. You only have 30 seconds with active camo. Try to get a move through, stop before you peek the corner, and then turn the corner, and then assess the situation. And move through however you would like to with your active camo. Alrighty, guys. Finally, where are we? None other than Live Fire, my personal favorite. And I believe this is the last occasional spawn for active. But it is only active on live fire Don't for certain modes, I believe. Don't quote me on this, guys. But I'm trying to cover all the ranked ones here. If I missed any or if I'm completely wrong about live fire, let me know in the comments. But I believe in Don't one ranked available. mode, it's active camo. Unless they changed it. But I think at the start of the game it was. So obviously it's an overshield here. But if it were active, guys, you'd play it similar to when you're getting OS, obviously. You gotta, you really have to get the kills for this one when it's on the pedestal. Find the kills with the team, jump up, grab it, get the drop back, pop it. And then, guys, it's really just the same stuff here, you know. Try to hug corners, try to move angles, use the routes, especially the tunnel down here. And again, I, I'm just really not sure if active even still spawns on live fire. I don't remember the last time I had a game of live fire with active but i really want to cover it just in case uh without like looking it up or anything but all right guys that's pretty much all i have for active here i'm glad to finally get back to some halo tips and tricks videos for you guys so um as usual if you have any other active camo tips guys pretty please leave it in a comment down below i'll put a heart on it i'm sure a lot of people like getting help from your guys's comments down below on these videos as well as the tips in the video it really just helps me cover all the angles that i may miss as an individual but uh that does it guys if you have any questions also comment those down below uh anything about active camo or any of the power-ups really I'll, i'd love to help you out and then uh guys please subscribe to the channel a lot of Halo content. We just played with a ton of viewers on Saturday. It was so much fun. So obviously a lot of live streams too. So hit that subscribe button. Leave a like on the video, guys. It helps out so, so much. Leave a comment, as I already mentioned. And then, guys, channel memberships. I think they're like $4.99 or something. But please don't feel inclined to support monetarily. Helps out so, so much. But you guys just watching the video is uh, thank you enough for me. But uh, that does it, guys. You guys are the absolute best. The support has been crazy. I know I took three days off, but I was so busy with work. And I was really focusing the playing with subscribers 
stream and uh it was so lit it was so fun and i'm so glad with how it turned out guys you guys were so awesome and the support like i said just been crazy but uh all right guys that's enough talking i'm sorry hopefully this helped you out understand active camo or give you more ideas on how to play for it play with it or how to use it in general but all right guys thank you so much stay happy stay healthy and stay tuned for the next video